needle and very carefully we're going to start poking the holes that you're going to use to embroider. When you're poking the holes you want to make sure you go all the way through the canvas. So you're going to pick a spot on the line and you're going to start poking the holes. You want to make sure that you try to get them to be an even width apart and that's going to make it easier when you actually go to stitch. Threaded, it's time to start embroidering. I'm going to be doing a stitch called the back stitch. You want to pick a point to start your stitch. I'm going to start at the bottom of my stem. You're going to find the first hole and you're going to stick your needle through and pull. You want to leave a little tail in the back so that your stitches don't start falling out and just hold on to it for the first one. And then from here, we're going to find our second hole and you're gonna put your needle through and pull it tight. And that's your first stitch. From here, you're gonna find your third hole, stick your needle through like that, pull it through until there's none in the back, and we're gonna go back to our second hole. So that's our back stitch. And you're gonna stick it through and pull it tight. And we're gonna to continue to do that around the canvas. So we're gonna do our fourth stitch right now. So you find your fourth hole, Put your needle through, pull it tight, and we're gonna go back to our third hole like that and pull it through. And you're gonna continue to do this around your canvas. I'm gonna do two different color stitches. So on the white half, I'm going to do green, and on the purple half, I'm gonna do yellow. 